Does anyone else remember doing that special move in aggressive inline? Never thought it would be possible in real life, not to the same extent anyway. But anyway, what up, it's Brandon here and welcome back to Blader News, your number one rolling news source. Once again brought to you by Skids Grind Plates, the best way to grind off of aggressive skates. They're actually doing a giveaway right now where you just got to follow them on Instagram, here's the handle, and he's giving away a set of these for free once every month. So definitely worth checking out and you'll learn more about what they are and the product is. But anyway, enough of that. As always, let's just roll into it with some industry news. The first story we're going to talk about today is the scary story around the tornado that happened in Nashville. And the reason we're talking about this here on Blader News is because it has affected a couple rollerbladers. So you know Andrew Kingery, the guy behind King Souls, which is a guy who hand makes a whole lot of custom sole plates for every skate there ever is. And he posted a picture of this completely destroyed shop, which I assume is the place he works at. I'm not 100% on it. Uh, I didn't have time to look into it or ask him about it. I'm just going from what I could find with quick searching around and I couldn't find nothing. Uh, the reason I know it's got something to do with Andrew is because he is linking to a GoFundMe that is helping raise money to help rebuild the store that was destroyed called High Garden. It's a small business, it was insured, but the insurance doesn't even cover a quarter of what they need to rebuild the whole shop. So I'm gonna to link to the GoFundMe that Andrew Kingery is linked to, as well as another GoFundMe that was personally sent to me, uh, which is set up to help support Andrew, as well as a skate shop that got destroyed over there called Asphalt Beach Skate Shop. So the guy behind this, Nathan Buck, personally sent this to me, and he said he's also gonna be hosting a contest or an event to help raise money to help them out as well. And I'll also link to uh, a website that'll show you how to support everyone affected by this tornado. Thinking of you guys, hope you're all good and hope things get back on track and go back to normal as fast as they can. But yeah, help them out if you can guys. In other news, Roll Lane has got some more mainstream media exposure. Thanks to the coronavirus and Rob, the Australian who was stuck skating over there made their video they linked to a while ago. So Vice did an interview with both Josh and Rob about their whole experience about being stuck in a city in lockdown, a huge city, and how they managed to go out and skate and just everything that happened and what's happening with them now. They also linked to their video. We're just gonna show a lot more people what aggressive Roll Lane is again, which is at least one good thing to come out of this whole virus scare. So yeah, I'm glad to hear that both Rob and Josh are alright in there. I think they might still be in quarantine on Christmas Island in Australia. Is that even a place in Australia? I don't even know. But yeah, shout out to you guys. And the last thing I want to talk about is some more proof that rollerblading is on the up right now. So at Winter Clash, there was a business show something, I don't really know, I wasn't there. Uh, but they got a bunch of skate shop owners together and according to this one sentence from this video that this is all posted, uh, all the skate shops have reported their best year in sales yet. Now, yet mustn't mean of all time, but it must be in a long time. Which is a great thing for rollerblading. It means more people are buying skates, more people are getting out skating. And let's hope that trend continues and rollerblading gets out there again. Of course, this video that this is so posted was posted just after my last play of news. And it has a bunch of stuff that I had no way of finding out because I wasn't at Winter Clash about Winter Clash and a lot of it was products. So that's a perfect segue over to everyone's favorite part of the show, product news. So let's smash out all these Winter Clash products again. Starting off with razors. I feel like every other day I get a comment of people asking me what's happened to the Razor Genesis skate and razors actually released a new one. But before I get your hopes up too high, it's a Razor Genesis Junior, <laughs> which is cool because it's for kids and we need skates for kids, I'm telling you. Uh, but yeah, Razor's released this new Razor Genesis Junior in a navy blue color, which is absolutely sick. As well as a couple new t-shirts for this store. I have no pictures of one. I just got this description. For the second shirt, they made a print with the skier on it. But I really like the old school look of the shirt that we can actually show off here. Razor, an aggressive company, which is sick. <laughs> now Blade Life did actually release some other shirts other than that one with the roll blade. Happy guy on the back. Uh, and it was this design here, they brought out a new colored version of it on a hoodie that you might have seen Lena wearing, as well as these cool little shirts with the two little skates on it. I really love everything that Blade Life does and makes. It looks so cool. And the fact that skaters hand make all the clothes is just so cool. And I'm mad that I didn't get to see these things before my video or even just in person in general. <laughs> in Caltech, you know, the frame company, which also makes a skate, they released a new version of their K skate, which is their kids skate adjustable size one. And it's now available in blue which is really cool. Red Eye Wheels teased the new wheel profile they're making 
uh, which looks very interesting, very flat, and I'm all for new wheel profiles. Wheel profiles make a big difference to your skating. If you ain't trying different profiles, you're missing out, trust me. They also showed off a new anti-rocker profile they're working on as well, which is cool. Now in this and Sol's coverage of uh, Isbo, Eva mentioned that he knew something about a new FR skate in the works. And it was actually at Winter Clash. Anthony was actually skating the new FR skate uh, while he was competing. So we were actually all looking at it, but I guess we have to wait and see to hear more about it. We also got some more insight on that new Rollerblade solo skate. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea about Rollerblade. I just want to clarify that so that might not be the name. It's that skate you've been seeing Blade Tech and stuff post about the prototype sole plates that have been worked on. So apparently they're redesigning the skate from the sole plate up. Right now they're working on the sole plate. A sole plate's meant to be quite a universal flat design with the possibility of being able to go on a bunch of different skates, which is a good idea. We have universal frames, why don't we have universal sole plates? But they then have plans to move on to working on the buckle and then everything from there, you know, really focusing in on not ruining the already super comfortable fit of the Rollerblade Solo. Not that I would know, but yeah. <laughs> they're not planned to be released till next year sometime, so they're really putting in the work, which means you know it's gonna be a really well polished, put together skate that's been tested, not something just thrown together in a few minutes, hoping for the best. So I'm excited for that release in a year. Hopefully it is only a year away. And to finish off products, I'm gonna talk about the skate that I just, for some reason, didn't mention when it came out at ISVO. I don't know why, I saw it, I wrote it down even, but I just, I just didn't say it. I don't know, <laughs> just, I have no reason. But anyway, that is the new USD Pro Carbon Skate for Carlos Brunard. And now this is a really cool skate with a little throwback design to it, which just works really well. And it's one of the best looking carbon USD skates I've seen in a long time. And I'm glad they're still making that boot as well. But yeah, sorry I somehow didn't mention that. Um, but if you checked out the videos they're linked to, you wouldn't have missed it. So make sure you check out all the videos they're linked to and all the links, you know. But yeah, that's it for product news. Let's move on to my favorite part of the show, media you should check out. Starting off with a video essay from Roll Minnesota. And damn, this thing is good. It goes into the history of rollerblading and the really bright future it looks like we have. And this video is well worth the watch, so you definitely should go check it out. It's so good, trust me. Check it out. Shredpool hit us with the new interview format style video series called Rollerbladers in Rollerblades on Rollerblading. And it's really, really good. Uh, first episode's on Matthew. This dude really reminds me of one of the dudes I used to always skate with. Uh, shout out to you, Josh. He's actually my cousin, so yeah. I hope you're watching, man. <laughs> Appreciate you. But yeah, it's definitely worth the watch. Go check it out. Niels Jansen, my favorite skater at the moment, released some behind the scenes of the filming for his video, Breeze. And that video is now at over 165,000 views. So it's so cool, it's such a success. And seeing the behind the scenes of it and all the work that went into these tricks. You know, when I saw him doing that 360 sole down the hub and the 540 alley oop switch sole, I just really wanted to know if it was first try. And it wasn't first try, which is good to know. I really didn't see how you could battle that safely, but Nils does it. And damn it, I want that true pawn, man. I'm gonna learn true pawns. I'm gonna learn them. There's a new VOD releasing right now, today. As I post this, it should be coming out and it's called Sandy Bastards. Featuring all these people, you know it's gonna be absolutely fire. So be sure to check that out and witness some absolutely ridiculously cool style skating. We've got another post on Instagram going into the history of the Bauer skate. So how you say it? I don't know man, I am a new school skater. It's cool to learn about this stuff and I definitely recommend checking it out. We also got this random article about the full history of inline. It's also a really good thing that can teach me a little bit about the sport I do, which is cool. And finally, I'm gonna self-promote here and say you should check out my latest edit, which is just called 5K, which I made to celebrate hitting 5K. So thank you guys so much for getting me to 5K. I worked really hard in this video and I think it came out pretty nice. So yeah, check it out. And that's it for Blade News. But as always, I'd love to know your thoughts on everything that's happening right now. Let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna support this series, you can buy the official Blade News mug, hat, or anything from the Lace store, or you can just subscribe, that helps just as much. But anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Huge shout out to my patrons, Acosta Blades, Adam, Kevin, Chris, Deep Dennis, Fabian, Lake Brothers Blading, Mark, Matt, Mike, Nathaniel, Sean, Skids, Grind Plates, Targi, and the Book of Grinds. Sweet moves, and I'll see everyone next week. Peace out.